Hello friends, in this session we are going to understand the concept of electrical potential energy. Now electric potential energy is the energy possessed by the system of charges by the virtue of its position. Now how can position be responsible for potential energy of system of charges? Let's say I am having two positive charges placed at infinity. Being placed at infinity, are these two charges affecting each other? Is there any electrostatic force of repulsion between them? No, right? Because they are placed at infinity. However, the moment I am bringing these two charges near each other, what will happen? The the, there will be electrostatic force of repulsion between them. And I have to apply external force. To make that displacement. Am I making displacement? Yes, I am moving the two, two charges along uh, towards each other. That means I am making some displacement. So, external force into displacement is nothing but what work. Right? So, that means I have to do work to place these charges near each other. And since this force, this electrostatic force is conservative in nature, the work done is stored inside the system in form of potential energy, right? So that means when the two charges are placed at infinity, there is no potential energy. The potential energy is equal to zero. Why? Because there is no force of electrostatic force or repulsion between them. However, the moment I am bringing these two charges near, near each other, there will be potential energy stored inside the system of charges, right? So that means what I am doing? I am changing their position. That is the reason why Positions are responsible for the potential energy of the system. Right? Okay. Now, since we have understood this, let us calculate the mathematical expression of potential energy. Right? Now, in order to calculate potential energy, I have to do, I have to calculate work done. Why is it so? Because the work done is getting stored inside the system of charges in form of potential energy. So that means if I want to find the expression for potential energy, I have to find out work done, right? Okay. So first we will take potential energy of two. Charges. So we have two charges. Okay. Now this particular space is empty space. What am I doing is I am bringing one positive charge Q1 from infinity and then placing this point charge over here at this particular position plus Q1. Right? At this particular position. What is the potential energy of the system? Zero. What is the work done? Zero. Why is the work done zero? Because this space was initially empty space. If there is empty space, that means while bringing this charge, am I applying any external force? Right? Because there is no electric field over here. So, I am applying no, uh, no external force. If there is no external force, then the work done will be equal to zero. So that means the potential energy of the system is equal to zero okay now what i'm doing is i'm bringing another charge q2 from infinity and placing the charge at this particular point now i have bought the charges from infinity and placed it from at this particular point q2 okay at this particular point i'm bringing charge q2 and the distance between these two points is R12. So tell me, what is the potential at this point? This is point A, this is point B. What is the potential at point B? Haven't we learned how to calculate potential? Potential is given by 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 upon 
R12. Right? Now, what is the work done? Haven't we learned to calculate that also? Work done is equal to V into Q2. Right? If you, uh, if you remember, uh, when we have learned how to calculate potential, at that particular, in this, uh, in that particular case, we have taken a test charge into consideration instead of Q2, right? So that time the equation was W is equal to V into Q0. However, in this case, we are bringing Q2 charge from infinity. That is the reason why W is equal to V into Q2. Okay, so I can simply say. W work done is equal to V is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 upon R12 into Q2. So it comes to W is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 upon R12. This is nothing but what the work done to bring the charge Q2 from infinity at point B. And the same work done is getting converted, is getting stored inside the system in form of potential energy. Right? Okay. Now we will learn to calculate potential energy. Potential energy of system of three charges now i have three charges now i am bringing first charge from infinity and placing the charge over here okay point a and this charge is plus Q1. What is the work done? Work done is equal to 0. Why? Because there is no electrical field present over here. There is no any, any other charge which is which will ripple this charge to come from infinity. right? So work done is equal to 0. Since work done is equal to 0, potential is 0. Okay. Now, I am bringing another charge from infinity and placing the charge over here. Okay, and placing the charge over here Q2. Whereas the distance between Q1 and Q2 is R12. This is point B. So, what is the potential at point B? The potential at point B is given by V is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q. 1 upon R12 and the work done is given by W1 is equal to Q into V into Q2 which is equal to W1 is equal to V is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 upon R12 into Q2. So, W1 is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 upon R12, right? The same equation that we have received over here. Same equation, right? Okay, now I am bringing another charge of another charge Q3 from infinity and place this charge over here. Okay? plus Q3. Now, while I am bringing this charge Q3, I have to face electrostatic force of repulsion from the first charge as well as from the second charge. That means now, there are two charges which are exerting electrostatic force of repulsion on me and against this two forces I have to apply external force and then bring the charge over here. That means I have to do work because of Q1 charge and also because of Q2 charge. Right? 
the distance between q1 and q3 is r13 and the distance between q1 q2 and q3 is r23 now so first let me calculate the work done because of charge q1 so i will name this as w2 is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not earlier it was q1 and q2 now it is what q1 and q3 work done because of charge q1 is given by w2 is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q1 q3 upon r13 right okay now i have to uh, calculate the work done because of charge q2 which is nothing but what q w3 is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q2 q3 upon r23 so we have w1 w2 and w3 right so what is total work done total work done will be given by w is equal to w1 plus w2 plus w3 so w is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q12 upon r12 plus q 2 3 upon r 2 3 plus q 3 1 upon r upon r 3 1 upon r 3 1 and so on right okay now third potential energy for n number of particles n number of charges how will it be it is equal to w is equal to the same equation but will be extended for n number of charges w is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught summation of all the pairs q i j upon r i j this is nothing but what the work done for n number of charges system of charges and the same energy, same work done will get converted into potential energy. Right? I hope you have understood the session. Thanks a lot.